Hey guys, good morning, happy Friday to you. Brad Reynolds here with the Brad Reynolds team under the Synergy Realty Network office. Wanted to come on here and talk about a new video series we're doing called Real Estate with Reynolds, a weekly series where we'll be breaking down complex real estate items related to Nashville, Middle Tennessee, and beyond, covering tons of topics. If you like what you're seeing, please go to our new YouTube channel and click subscribe, as well as watch for coming soon info and post on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Make sure you're following us there if you're not already. For ways to get in touch with the team, please connect with us at brad at thinkbrad.com as well as 615-856-3270. Most importantly, check out our coming soon website, thinkbrad.com, for everything under the real estate sun involving issues important to us. Watch for that soon. Our topic for the day is forbearance. Guys, I think forbearance is being really, really misunderstood and misused right now, especially with a lot of the information I'm seeing shared online. Let me give you a quick example. Let's say you have a mortgage payment of $1,500 and unfortunately due to coronavirus, you've lost your job. You call up your lender and ask if you can have some kind of time to pay and the lender says, sure, let's put your account into forbearance for now. You'll have six months of no payments. You think, oh wow, this is great. I've got time to recover. Six months goes by, the lender calls you up and says, hey, I need that check now for $10,500, the 1,500 at seven months. You're freaking out, what do I do? How do I pay this? I don't have that kind of money. Lender says, okay, let's do this instead. Let's break it up over 12 months. So your old payment was 1,500. For the next 12 months, your payment is gonna be 2,250. You're sitting there saying, I can't afford that. What do I do? Can we refinance? The lender says, unfortunately, we can't. Remember, your account is in forbearance. In saying all that, if you have lost your job due to coronavirus, please reach out to your lender ASAP to make arrangements. But guys, eventually the bill becomes due. Forbearance is not forgiveness, and you've got to understand the difference. For questions related to this or any other real estate topic, please reach out to me and my team, and we'll be thrilled to get back with you. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for